From the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your morning update. American Door Company has been family owned and operated for over 29 years, supplying Northern California with quality garage doors, garage door openers, and installed with the best service you'd expect from a locally owned company. We serve all of Northern California from Willows all the way up to the Oregon State Line. Give us a call today. Well, happy Friday morning to you. I'm meteorologist Mike Kruger here from Weather NorCal. Hey, let's get you right through Kruger's quick cast. If you're just uh, checking in for a quick forecast to update here for tonight and tomorrow, we've come to the right place here with Kruger's quick cast. Let's get you out the door this morning. Maybe heading out to work, getting that cup of coffee before you head out to work. Maybe dropping your kiddo off to school. Hey, the temperatures are going to be on the coolish side, even in the valley with mid 50s, 40s for most of the higher elevations. Trinity County around 50. There's going to be some more clouds coming in here. Uh, maybe still a little bit of haze, some light smoke for the north end of the valley around Redding, maybe Anderson, uh, and then of course hazy and a little smoky, especially out towards central and eastern Siskiyou County. Let's take a look at that smoke forecast because, boy, was that. Uh, not bad or what, right? I mean, especially for uh, the many parts of the valley here and especially for the first half of the day, but even through the second half of the day, the smoke was definitely an issue. Now, this morning, you see at 6 a.m., we still may see some of that lingering uh, haze, not as bad as it was yesterday morning. Now, we still have some of that lingering around through the morning hours. You can see, especially around Redding, maybe Anderson, but those winds will shift more from the south late this morning into the afternoon, and that will push most of that smoke to the north. And you can see most of it will be in eastern Siskiyou County, and really not even much making its way into western Modoc County. And then it kind of settles southward here, uh, taking you into tonight and early tomorrow morning. There's the next storm system I've got my eyes on. The clouds already moving in in advance of it. So uh, th those clouds right here aren't going to bring us any rain. It's mainly going to be the rain that's situated right here. So that's what we have in store for us here as we go into the next 24 hours. Let's take a look at that on future cast. And we're just going to take you through tonight. Here's 5 o'clock today. So it's still dry. If you work outside, you're going to be in great shape. In fact, temperatures are going to be even cooler for today, making for a gorgeous day. But eventually, this rain right here, it moves on in, and we could be looking at some moderate to even heavy rainfall late tonight for parts of the coast, making its way into Siskiyou County and northwestern Trinity County as well. This will all be shifting eastward, but as it does, it will break apart and weaken. But we still expect to see some late night, early morning showers for the valley and eventually making its way into the eastern mountains as well. So let's take a look at our forecast for today. You've got those temperatures low to even some mid 80s for your daytime highs in the valley. Dry for everyone with temperatures mainly in the 70s. One of the warmer spots will be Susanville at about 80. 76 for Mount Shasta City. Low 80s out towards Trinity County, the you know, place like Weaverville, Hayfork. Uh, low to mid 80s here for the inland areas and those low to mid 60s for the coast today. Let's take a look at your seven day outlook and we'll start off with the valley. Temperatures dropping going back up and drying out, dropping again with maybe another chance for showers by next Wednesday. Now, next Wednesday is going to be more of a cool and unsettled weather pattern here starting, and that'll go into the end of next week. And that is going to change most likely. There may eventually be a chance for showers by next Thursday into that next Friday. We'll see. But we're going to continue with this upward and downward trend with our temperatures here. And really, we're seeing some bigger drops and some bigger increases. We're talking about a 10 degree decrease there from Mount Shasta and then another about a 10 degree decrease there as well. So it will be noticeable drops and increases in those temperatures, but at least it's not going to be summer heat. Well, that is a look at your quick cast. Hey, by the way, did you get a chance to check out those northern lights? This was from Matthew Fuentes. He said he just looked out his window <laughs> and this is what he saw. Look at that. Just kind of that nice faint image of the northern lights if you looked northward. I mean, this was kind of a phenomenon across the nation. You'll see it's going to be all over social media. You'll probably see it this morning here on your social media post uh, or feed that is. There's Brian Houston. This is out in Castle. Now, this is where we, you probably saw better conditions because not as much light pollution in a lot of these rural areas. So, I mean, you can see, look at that beautiful with the stars. And of course, you can see the colors there as well. So if you want to send in your photos, be sure to do that. All you have to do is go to the Weather NorCal app, scroll at the very bottom, and you can share your photos from the free Weather NorCal app. If you don't have it already, why not? Check it out. Go to your app store, search for Weather NorCal, and download the app for free. So, of course, the big question is, can we expect the same again tonight? Probably not. This is what the aura forecast looked like last night. See this red line? Uh, typically about five to 600 miles from that red line, sometimes you can still see the aurora. And, of course, we saw that last night, right? But take a look at 
how everything shifts northward as we go in tonight. Okay, so I don't think we're going to see as much of the uh, aurora uh, here for in the northern lights here tonight. Of course, the northern states will, but I don't think we're going to see it here in northern California. But that may change. When the latest data comes out later this afternoon, we'll see. But as of right now, it doesn't look very promising. All right, so here's a look at your weather headlines. Cooling trend continues going into the weekend. Showers tonight into Saturday morning. Dry and warmer for Sunday into early next week. Then cooler temperatures again towards the middle and latter part of next week with a chance for some more showers. So we're kind of starting to see more of this unsettled weather pattern move on in and cooler temperatures as well. By the way, I want to show you the fire perimeter. This is not the latest. I, it doesn't seem like it's updating. I can't seem to get the information, but this is the general idea of where the fire is. The latest information as of last night and early this morning, 1,371 acres. So it has grown significantly since I reported yesterday at about 400 acres. And it was yesterday afternoon that it was updated here at 1371 with 0% containment. Let's zoom it out here and just a general idea when we're talking distances to different communities. Keep in mind, this is from the older fire perimeter when it was 400 acres. So it may be a little bit closer to some of these areas, but you get the idea. This is a very rural area. We're not seeing a lot of communities being impacted by this. The main impact, of course, is that smoke, but there are evacuation orders surrounding the fire. All right, so let's take a look at that smoke forecast. And again, we're still seeing some of that haze here, even for the noon hour today for parts of the valley. But with those winds shifting more from south to north, it'll push most of that smoke to the north. So places like eastern Siskiyou County, Doris, uh, Tennant, for example, and maybe even around Mount Shasta City, you can see some of that haze and smoke. Doesn't look to be as bad today day uh, for western Modoc County and then by tonight into tomorrow morning it kind of settles on itself and then you can see a little bit of that haze coming in here uh, for parts of the afternoon on Saturday for the north end of the valley but with that north with that southerly flow of winds that'll keep most of that smoke up to the north of the valley. Talk, talking about those winds here, there's a look at our fire weather risk here. And with the winds getting fairly strong this afternoon, but that's mainly in response to the approaching storm system because by tomorrow, those winds do die down. And by Sunday uh, afternoon, also looking at calmer winds here throughout the day. So we factor in the humidity as well to see what that means for our fire weather risk. We're still in the mid teens, but at least by tomorrow, look at that humidity. 50 over 60 percent. Boy, is that a welcome sight or what? Especially when we're talking about fire danger and of course the potential for showers. But then, yeah, it dries back out again here going into your Sunday. So today, because of the winds and still the low humidity, you can still see we're within that moderate range here, even for central Siskiyou County, even in the moderate range off to the east. But by the time we get into Saturday, totally different story. It's going to be green all across the board. Again, higher humidity, weaker winds, and of course, the chance for showers entering the picture as well. Not to mention, of course, those much cooler temperatures too. So there you can see the storm systems approaching. We're beginning to see some of the rain up to our north as being picked up by radar. Radar doesn't go out this far. That's why you're not seeing the rain. You're just seeing the clouds. This is the satellite image. But you get the idea. There's the swirling area of low pressure. I mean, it is just heading right for us. So that's what we have in store for us here as we take in the next 24 hours. All right, here's a look at future cast. Here's a look at that rain. We're gonna take it past tonight. So as we go into tonight, 10 p.m., there's that line of rain. Heaviest will be along the coast. Now, as we typically see with these storm systems, watch what happens as it moves over the uh, coastal range. Still holding on, but it's not quite as organized. Remember when you saw it, just a nice line, right? Now it's beginning to break apart. However, as we go into the early, early morning hours tomorrow, we may see some of that moderate rain making its way into parts of the valley, especially around Redding, maybe even Red Bluff, up north into Siskiyou County, seeing some decent rain as well, and down to the south too. But look how dry it still is off to the east. Now, you see how this is weakening as it moves eastward, but we're still seeing some of those showers off in the eastern mountains, Modoc County, uh, but still fairly dry even tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. for most of Lassen and Plumas counties. Then we take you into the noon hour. There you can see most of the heavy rainfall now off to our east, but even that's breaking apart. But look what we have by noon. Mostly cloudy skies, a chance for a sprinkle, a light shower here and there, and that'll continue through the afternoon tomorrow. Tomorrow, but we're beginning to see it begin to break apart. We're seeing the clouds breaking apart and by Saturday night, it's all completely gone. Still some fog along the coast Sunday, but clear skies and warmer conditions for your Sunday for the rest of us. Rainfall totals, I think it's way overdoing it for the valley. I think the valley 
could pick upwards of maybe a tenth of an inch of rainfall. We'll see how that storm system survives going over the coastal range, but uh, I think it might be overdoing it here. Most of the rain is where you're going to see where the green is right here, but I think everyone could pick up. Once all is said and done through Saturday uh, afternoon, Saturday evening, everyone could pick up at least some measurable rainfall, some a lot more than others. Like I say, right here, the areas of green, that's where you can see over a half an inch possibly. So it just depends on where you are and how that storm is able to make its way over the coastal range. Because a lot of times it can break apart and you just don't get to see much uh, on the, as, as, a kind of, as you get into the path of that. So there you can see as we go into tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon, excuse me, Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon, it, we've got that fog along the coast. Now it dries out for Sunday, Monday, and even Tuesday. But by Tuesday night into Wednesday, we've got another disturbance passing through. That could bring us more showers. Of course, those cooler temperatures too. And then look how cool this cool and unsettled weather pattern is gonna be sticking around here as we go into the end of the week. But we do have high pressure trying to settle in. That will allow our temperatures to increase this right here possibly maybe bring us some more rain by the end of that next week in, into that next weekend so you get the idea yes the temperatures are going up and down a bit here but we're still seeing these storm systems really making their way here closer to northern california and that is going to allow us to see a chance for some more rainfall in fact Take a look at some of those rainfall future rainfall totals. Now, this is looking at the GFS forecast model. This is including what we're going to see tonight and tomorrow. You'll notice the long range when we include tonight and tomorrow and all the way through the end of uh, next week. You see how we're only seeing upwards of a few hundredths to a maybe a little over a tenth of an inch of rainfall? That's based on the what we call the GFS forecast model. You saw the other model, which is a little bit more accurate. It was showing a lot more rain just for tonight and tomorrow afternoon. So again, this is one of those things we'll have to kind of watch to see what happens as that storm system tonight into tomorrow morning, see how it survives that trip over the coastal range in the Trinity Alps. Because again, a lot of times with these weaker systems, they break apart and we just don't get to see a lot of rainfall. The bottom line, it's, it's rain, it's welcomed, it's cooler temperatures, but it's not as much rainfall as I'm sure we'd like to see, at least many of us would like to see. But that being said, we're now getting all of Northern California within that area of green, indicating better chances of seeing that rain. To the south of that is where we have near normal rainfall. So there's that area of low pressure that I'm tracking right now. That will be moving through tonight and tomorrow, and that will really begin to moderate as high pressure starts to settle back in for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. There is that uh, ridge of high pressure, and we've got those warmer temperatures. But by the middle of next week, we see another trough of low pressure scoot over Northern California. That's going to give us the chance for showers for Wednesday, possibly even next Thursday. But for now, I'm keeping Thursday dry. But there you can see another ridge builds in for early uh, the end of next week into that next weekend, slightly warmer. But then we've got this right here that could ride into Saturday into Sunday of that next weekend, giving us another chance for some showers. So again, a more cool and unsettled weather pattern setting itself up here by the middle of next week. And fall, I mean, it just really is beginning to look like and feel like it's beginning to settle in. And I don't think anyone's gonna be complaining about that. Look at the temperature outlook. We're finally getting out of the oranges and reds, indicating that at least we'll be near normal. And most likely we'll start to see more in the below normal category, because take a look at the 10 day trend here. We drop down to 75 tomorrow, back in the mid to upper 80s by Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, back in the 70s here by Wednesday, Thursday, back in the low 80s by Saturday, Sunday. And once we get past uh, Monday, we're gonna be below normal through most, if not all of next week. There you can see the wave heights here for today. Not that bad, but look at by tomorrow, those wave heights are starting to creep their way back up. Here's marine forecast for today. South winds eventually, they're gonna start off fairly weak, but through the afternoon, they will they get stronger to the south at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. There's going to be some of that patchy, dense fog out there, especially this morning. Here's your Trinity County neighborhood forecast. Temperature about 80 for Lewiston, 79 out in Trinity Center, and Burnt Ranch about 82. And again, the temperature is going up and down. Best chances for showers tonight and into the afternoon on Saturday, and then maybe another chance coming in here for your Wednesday. Your North Coast neighborhood forecast to the north, 84 for Orleans, 86 in Willow Creek, and 67 degrees for Smith River. Here's your Siskiyou County neighborhood forecast with 71 degrees for Tennant, 77 degrees for McLeod, and 82 degrees in Happy Camp. 
Let's take you out to Modoc County. 75 degrees for Tule Lake, 75 for Canby, 76 degrees in Fort Bidwell. Into the south in the eastern mountains, 77 for Chester, 77 degrees for Portola, and Paradise about 78 degrees. How about your Valley neighborhood forecast brought to you by Walgamoth Painting. There you can see 86 degrees out in Oroville, 84 degrees for Gridley as well as Corning, and 83 degrees in Pasquenta. Let's take you up to the north, 84 for Reading. I mean, just these beautiful temperatures, right? 79 degrees for Whiskey Town and 80 out in Lakehead. Taking a look at your seven day outlook for Reading. Temperatures, you know, the thing is we're seeing these big drops and then bigger increases, about a 10 degree drop from today to tomorrow, and then another close to 10 degree drop from uh, Tuesday to Wednesday of next week. And of course that chance for showers. It'd be, it'd be nice if we could get a little bit more than what we're expecting, but it's cooler and wetter weather is always a welcome sight. That is your morning update. I'll be back at noon with your latest forecast. At Wind River Resort and Casino, we like to celebrate life's little moments. Oh, and the big ones too. Because around here, when you're completely in the moment, that's when the magic happens. Come in and find your moment at Wind River Resort and Casino.